A few outfits I wore this week, a few fragrances I wore this week, a few things that I hauled, and let's talk about how to shop for your personal style. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So let's start with the few outfits that I wore this week. This was supposed to be a what I wore this week video. However, somewhere midweek, <laughs> I kind of fell off. I usually take the outfits that I wear, put them to the side, then record the whole video. Halfway through this week, it just, I fell off. So I do have a few, <laughs> but I don't have all. So we're gonna start with that. And while I'm showing you that, I'll also be showing you some of the new things that I've hauled. Since I'm wearing the shirt, let's just start with this outfit. So this shirt, unfortunately, um, was from two or three years ago at H&M. And what I love most about this shirt, you guys, is the color. I, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I love a good fuchsia and I love a good orange because it looks really good on my skin and my undertones. And of course, it's it's um, very trendy right now, but, but as a whole, it works very well for me. On my lips right now is this Hermes Rouge Orange, and it's a beautiful, like, true orange, but not too over the top, not too bright or neon. It's actually perfect. It goes very well with this top. It goes very well with my skin. And it's a little bit of luxury and it's so beautiful. Um, in New York right now, it is warmer, getting warmer, but you can still wear jeans. Like you go, go between jeans and shorts. And on this particular day, I wore my jeans. I told you guys about these spanks that I hauled, these spank jeans <laughs> that kind of hold everything in, which is fabulous if you're somebody like me who has a lot at the bottom, <laughs> have a lot of hip action. And then I wore these old, uh, maybe last year, two years ago, old gold mules that I got from ASOS. But I, oh, I wore these gold heels from ASOS and this beautiful gold clutch that I told you guys about before that I got from Etsy. It gave me just the right kind of glamorousness. <laughs> glamour, that's probably the proper way to say it. The right amount of glamour that I appreciate or love to um, incorporate into my outfits. The gold, the over-the-top exaggerated kind of clownish <laughs> top um, and it just really just brings it all together and makes me feel like myself so that's one outfit that I did remember to put aside and fragrance wise that day I wore this um, MFK fragrance um, I do like this this is not one of my favorites if I'm being completely honest I bought it um, on a severe discount a few years ago and as you can see I haven't used a ton of it so I tried it that day again to see if that's some if it's something that I should sell and I actually hate selling fragrances from this house just because I usually like everything that I buy from them um, but it is a very sparkly kind of woody um, fragrance it is giving me designer fragrance vibes which is nothing wrong with that I have plenty of designer fragrances but for MFK I just wanted something different like I have you know the norm the, the usuals I have Baccarat I have Baccarat Extreme um, I have Oud Set and Mood I have, like all the the heavy hitters <laughs> the one that everyone else has I have those too so I was looking for something a little different though I like this I don't love it and would not pay full price for it but it did the job it did make me feel pretty because it's, it's a pretty scent it's not something that I always reach for but yeah that is what I wore with this outfit and it worked the next outfit that I remembered to put aside <laughs> It was extremely hot. It's been hot and it's been like 70s, 80s, and a few days it was 90 degrees. It, it's been all over the place. But I wore this dress from the Hilo Lux Amazon drop. I don't remember if I ever showed you guys this, but you've seen it on her, I'm sure you've seen it on other people. I wore this dress. It's very cool. Like I can wear this dress and feel very comfortable in it on the hottest day. Only thing with this dress is, on the day I decide to wear it, I have to think if I feel like giving the world a little cleavage or not, <laughs> right? Because this dress, for me, on my body, gives a lot of cleave. <laughs> it gives a lot of cleavage. Well, it's a beautiful dress and very 
um, comfortable, I have to sometimes put something underneath it, depending on how I'm feeling that day, right? And I paired it with my Fendi slides that you guys saw last year, if you have been following me. So I got these last year. And it's Black Clutch from Mansour Gavriel. I filmed with some oversized black sunglasses and I was out the door. It has pockets and I also have it in blue. <laughs> it's just like an easy dress to throw on. On that day, what fragrance I wore was the Killian Roses on Ice. You guys saw me haul this in my last Sephora video, I believe, and I have been really enjoying it. I have put a pretty serious dent in this. What's so funny about this is that when I first smelled it, when it first came out, I was super unimpressed and it grew on me. So that cucumber is giving me fresh. This is the kind of fragrance um, that I like on a very hot day. It gives me fresh, it gives me vibrant, and this is exactly what this did. So this paired very well um, with the white dress. And, and it, again, I felt pretty wearing it. I like to, uh, and if you're not a fragrance person, you don't get this, but certain fragrances make me feel certain things, right? So during the winter, I love a nice warm fragrance because I want to feel cozy. And during the spring and summer, I want something fresh and flirty. Um, and all year around, I want something sexy. Usually, that's just me. Um, so yes, that's what that did. The next outfit, I showed you guys half of this outfit in my other video, but I got this all red outfit from H&M. It is a linen blend, um, and this is one of the days that was warm, but you needed a jacket at night. So I decided to wear the red linen top, the red linen um, shorts, a uh, blazer over it, and I paired this I paired this outfit, you guys, with, wait for it, sneakers. <laughs> I wore some white sneakers. I know if you just started watching me, you're like, what's the big deal about sneakers? Yeah. If you've been with me for a while, you know me and sneakers don't really mesh like that until recently. So I wore this with sneakers, sneakers and my Givenchy Antagonia, and I felt so good in this. I felt so amazing um, and it's just comfortable with the blazer it gave me a little bit more me because the sneakers are not exactly me but my feet thanked me <laughs> so with the blazer it gave me more of, of what I am it gave me more of Kura right so I felt very beautiful in that I think the outfit is still on H&M. I will link it absolutely, of course, totally worth it. Last year I got something similar in black, white, and this um, this peach kind of color, beautiful. It's so on that day, I decided to smell like Amawa's Sunshine Women. Funny thing about this is I've had this before. Um, it, it, this is new, I recently got this. I've had this before and I sold it. <laughs> okay, I sometimes get in these moods, you guys, where everything has to go. I have to sell everything. All my purses are horrible. I have to sell them. My glasses, my sunglasses suck. I have to get rid of them. <laughs> my my perfumes, my fragrances, I don't know why I have this. I have, to, I have to just get rid of it. So I did end up selling this, right? But then recently I was going through um, a lot of my decants. You guys, and I have three of these guys and another jar, right? So I was going through all of them and I was trying to decide what to get rid of, kind of organize, which I still haven't really finished out, finished doing. But I came across this, <laughs> I came across this decant. Like I had a small decant of this and I was like, why the heck did I sell this? So I've worked for a few days in the house and around and I said you're a fool <laughs> you have to buy this back expeditiously expeditiously so I did buy it back I love it and I don't know what I don't know what I was thinking I don't know what I was thinking but I'm happy to have it back in my collection this you guys is not a blind buy I smell there, there's tobacco flower in here uh, tobacco I believe and I know that sounds weird but with the other um with everything else that's in there it gives us such a sweet beautiful warm sexy type of vibe and i love this i again don't know why i sold it to begin with but i would definitely get a decant before i bought it um just because i don't think it's a good blind buy mm, i don't know why i sold this to begin with but that is that is what i wore on that day all right so the last 
<laughs> the last little outfit that I put to the side is a very basic kind of outfit, but it was comfortable. Again, I wore those jeans I got from Spanx. I wore an oversized um, white shirt, and that's just like a blank canvas. So, so I was actually that day trying to decide what to do accessory-wise, because just with the white oversized shirt and some jeans, you could do any, like any um, accessories you want. I started off thinking that I wanted to wear my Manolos. You guys saw me haul these a few videos back um, because that's just that's just my innate style, right? I gravitate to really feminine, you know, what I deem feminine um, type of shoe. They're usually pointy and they are um, not as chunky. But I decided, and I, I tried it on, but I decided to try something different. And as you guys know, um, platforms are big right now. So instead of my beautiful Manolos, I decided to try my, I don't know if I showed you guys these. I don't think I did. I decided to try my Mark Fisher um, denim platform. And when I'm talking about comfortable, like platforms, though will they will not always be in style, are so comfortable. I had to talk myself. It's funny because <laughs> at first when platforms and I kind of knew they were coming back, I said, "There's no way I'm going to buy them. That's just not my style." And then the more I thought about it, the more I saw. I said, "Maybe I should get them." <laughs> And I went straight to the top. I was looking at why sell. I was looking at Stuart Weitzman. I said, okay, wait. <laughs> I said, wait, I had to like calm down a bit. And I decided just to go with a more affordable option. You guys saw my other ones from Sam Edelman. These are from Mark Fisher. And I told you that denim is a big trend, right? If you watch this video, you know that. And I just wore it with a nice white shirt, um, some really cool accessories, and my Brandon Blackwood bag. You, if you saw, I did like a really quick video about, before this video, there was a really quick shorts that I did on this video. Um, and it's leather, which I'm loving. You guys know how I feel about a, a good quality purse and it's black owned. You know how I feel about that as well. Um, so I wore it with this. I was almost going to send this back because I was afraid of getting it dirty, but I'm just going to be careful with it. I wanted a very white purse. Um, it does have silver accessories like I was telling you guys about in that last video, but the I mean a silver hardware excuse me does have silver hardware that I was telling you guys about in that other video but it is just so small um, the hardware that you can wear whatever you want with it to be completely honest outfit it was really kind of in my opinion <laughs> laid-back kind of um, put together kind of look like I said before my initial thought was to go with my Manolos which is like my innate style my forever style but I decided to be a little trendy that day right so I did so if you follow me on my community page you know that I talked about these I haven't worn these yet but these little um, nine West shoes sl uh, slip-ons are super cute they were on sale for Memorial Day like for 30 something dollars and I was like can't I can't pass that up again so cute I could have worn these instead of the platforms um, but I'm gonna get tons of use out of these and for $35 fantastic and it's also it was it to me anyway it was really a, a good way to try um, the denim trend without spending too much and because they're denim and they have several colors of denim in them you could wear them with a whole bunch they so I showed you you guys and told you guys I was gonna get these from Sam Edelman and I got them and I am just in love it's it's the tying up of the shoe on the leg for me I the color they are they're just a sexy sexy shoe again I could have worn these with the white shirt and the jeans um, this and like a really cute pink bag or a white bag or whatever but these are just I love them they come in black and some other colors but they're just so sexy now if you are not a heel girl these are not the easiest to walk in the heel is not huge um, but you do have to have some like you do have to have some uh, experience with heels they're not super duper they're not uncomfortable by any means but they aren't super easy to walk in so that's just that's your warning and since i have last spoken with you guys um well last i've done a haul i've gotten two pairs of sunglasses they are both gucci yes gucci okay so <sighs> gucci is a very 
over the top kind of luxury brand. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I don't. But with the sunglasses, I often love them. These frames are Gucci, but by way of Nordstrom Rack, you guys know I love Nordstrom Rack. And they're giving me a, a Victoria Beckham vibe. The, the, um, the flat top, is really good you can't really see it on camera I'm sure I'm doing a roundabout but you can't really see it on me but it, they you could you could see your your eyes a little bit and I love a good um, see-through kind of lens these are weird because you could see my eyes a bit but also really and truly block the Sun like you guys if you if you've been with me for a while you know that blocking the Sun is not like um, my number one priority when buying sunglasses I like I love sunglasses to look a certain way but these I've been wearing a lot because they actually actually do so I love these they are on Nordstrom Rack I still I still do believe they are still there the details on these are much better like better than a lot of the other Gucci they have two Gucci symbols here and Gucci here these these are beautiful these are really good so I got these and then I got another pair that my husband cracks up at and he's not wrong <laughs> these these are a lot I'm not gonna lie to you you will probably not see me walking around New York City in these <laughs> you <laughs> you will see these on me on the beach and not like Coney Island but like um, you know a, out, outside of the country type of beach these are so over the top in my opinion that they need to be <laughs> that they need to be sp uh, specifically for the beach <laughs> dude these are fabulous these are fabulous again I probably won't walk around New York City with them because it's not really a city vibe it is most definitely a beach vacation type of vibe I believe Angela has these and Jazz has these but they don't have them in this color they have them in brown and black I believe you guys tell me but the listen say what you want I think these are fabulous I think these are fabulous just picture me on the beach I have um, knotless long, knotless braids. On. I love them. Say what you want, but I love them. And you guys, guess where I got them from? Nordstrom Rack. These are were also on Farfetch, but for a smooth two hundred dollars more. Like they were much more than what I paid for them. If they are still there, I will a hundred percent add them because you know I love to show you guys about some sunglasses. Um, yeah. So on TikTok, if you're not following me on TikTok, or if you're not even on TikTok, you guys, I'm telling you, you're missing out. I keep telling you guys. I know a lot of people, spe specifically millennials, older millennials and up, you got, we have a problem like switching over. And I'm not saying leave Instagram. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying adding TikTok to the repertoire. There's so much information on there. I've been really enjoying TikTok. Anyway, the creative director, the person who started Tibby, has a TikTok. And she has been giving just amazing advice about fashion and about your personal style. And I'm just eating it all up, right? So a few things that she mentioned, which I think is just amazing. The first thing that stood out to me about her videos and her teaching pretty much is that your fashion, um, the way you dress, your style is directly related to your personality. So I did a video about how to find your personal style many, many videos ago. I will of course link it. And in that video, I told you that your personality, again, is directly linked to your style. I even give you a link to a quiz that I would love for you guys to take that will help you um, find out who you are, be able to link together what you're supposed to wear. All right, so if you have already taken the quiz or you've, you've watched that video, you know that there are many what they call archetypes. And after taking the quiz, I found out exactly what I was and completely, completely um, agree with it. In describing this archetype, they use very descriptive words that I can use to translate into my personal style. A woman who started Tibby has a system where you pick three words to describe your style. and after you pick those three words, it would be much easier for you to style. My three words after taking the quiz that were glamorous, sensual, and classic. So everything from now on, from here on in, <laughs> as I shop will either be glamorous, um, sensual, or classic. And I feel like what 
the influencer space is kind of missing, and this is why I love her videos, is that they are to are selling you or telling you about things that might not fit your personal style. Once you have your three words, and I'm not taking credit for this because this is her idea and I think it's just a fabulous idea. Um, she just put into words or she articulated what I was trying to say much more clearly. Um, and I think it's just fabulous. Once you have your three words, finding your style and shopping will be much easier. So because I know one of my three words is glamorous, I know that a sequence bag is going to get used in my collection. Because I know one of my words is, is sexy, I know that I would be able to wear that white dress um, from the High Low, High Low Lux collection because it has a little bit of cleavage, right? Because I know my word is classic, I, one of my words are classic, I know that a top handle bag would work very well in my collection. I really urge you to go take that quiz, find out what you are and take out the descriptive words. I would love to have a series of me just kind of redoing my closet and making sure that everything fits into my three words. Glamorous, sexy, classic. I would love it if you already know, if you think you can already tell me what your three words are. My subscribers, if I know what your three words are, I think I will be able to better serve you. So if you know what your three words are that already, already describe your style, please let me know. If you guys see in a lot of my videos, I put in things that are not necessarily my style, but I still think are cute because I want to be able to show everybody um, how to find their own style. That is the point of this, this whole channel is to make you feel beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.